Fossils come in different sizes and uh, most people are familiar with the very big fossils. Most of the little ones love the really big fossils, the dinosaurs. Stuff like Deinonychus. This replica shows a skull which is of a very large uh, upright dinosaur. Most people will be familiar with fossils like the Ammonite, which is a very famous coiny shell. And around here in the Black Country, many, many people are very familiar with our local Dudley Bug, uh, an extinct creature called the Trilobite. They're all big fossils, big like the shell that you can see with the naked eye. You can measure things, you can see structures without any aids like a microscope. However, there are tiny, tiny fossils in the mud that often occurs in these rock areas. For example, this stuff. And in this stuff, it's just clay, but if you sieve the clay through a stack of sieves, like this, and extract via filter papers like this, the dust, then we find there are microscopic fossils, tiny little sea creatures, and teeth of creatures, and all sorts of structures down there, which we can't see with the naked eye. So there's a whole suite of life forms preserved in minute detail in even the dust in some of these rocks. And then you need microscopes and laboratories to look in depth at that story of life on Earth. And that's what we're doing here at Dudley Museum. And that's what some of our collections hold. The tiny, tiny stuff. But you need equipment to do more intelligent and clever things with these tiny forms of life.